Hello, here we're going to go over how easy it is to use Compass Technologies fast blank software to take this solid part and create a blank for it. Um, the whole software is wizard based, so you'll just constantly be prompted in the bottom left corner here of what the next step to take. It makes it a very straightforward and simple process. Alright, so we see the first steps asking us to generate the skin. When you import the solid model, it's going to read this in as um, outside of metal, edge of metal, or inside of metal. So we'll just make it on the outside of the metal, click generate skin, and confirm it right here. Now we're going to define the material. Uh, Fast Blank comes with a built-in material library. It's pretty uh, complete, but if you haven't used your own materials, it's very easy to add your own as well. We'll just choose Gold Roll Commercial Quality Steel. And the material thickness right here was read in from the original part. So if you have a solid part, uh, you don't have to worry about that. Hit OK. The next thing we're going to do is generate the mesh. Before we do that, however, I'm going to fill in these holes here so they'll be taken out of the mathematical calculation. Just hit the fill holes button and then click along the part. Hit OK and then you'll see when we generate the mesh here. I'll just leave the default mesh size values. These are typically uh, correct from the software calculates it for you. And then when I look at the mesh here, all the holes have been filled in, so that's good. And next we're going to define the punch direction. Uh, you have three options here. You can do it normal to a surface, automatically, or with manually with your own inputs. I'm going to do it normal to this face right here. Uh, so you can just click along the part, and actually you can put normal to whatever face you want. I'll leave it here, and if you click the preview undercut button, you can uh, preview the undercuts right here. A little easier to see this way and then hit OK. Next you can define the forming process. You can choose between either a form or a draw. If you're going to be drawing the metal like you will in this part, I'm just going to leave it as draw. And then next is just step is to solve the part. Okay, so we've got the part here and the initial blank behind it. And I'll just, from here I'll hit the create blank. And you'll see we've got the initial sizes here. Only step left here is I'm going to, uh, if you zoom in, you can see it's got some jagged edges, uh, which I'll get rid of those by hitting the smoothing button. These defaults are also pretty much okay. It's just going to smooth out, create arcs between the uh, jagged lines. And then from here, the blank is ready to be exported. If you just right click uh, down here on the tree and hit the export button, you can then uh, choose a file name for your blank and save it out as an outline or a surface as either an IGES or a DXF file. And that's how easy it is to use uh, FastBlank from Compass Technologies to create blanks for your parts. Thank you.